This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth in this post-COVID-1984 nightmare, where I think it's safe to say now, if George Orwell were alive today, he would be very proud and very impressed at the current state of the surveillance control grid and Big Brother's ability to track, trace, and database every single thing you do. But not only that, he would blush over the relationship between Big Brother and the major tech conglomerates who are colluding and collaborating together to create this COVID-1984 nightmare. So for example, today we'll be looking at this. Apple and Google will build their coronavirus contact tracing software right into your phone. Apple and Google announced on Tuesday that future versions of the iOS and Android operating systems will include the company's COVID-19 notification system that previously required users to install an app. It's currently being sold to the general public as this being an opt-in feature, but as we'll show in this video, incremental moves are being made right now and the end game agenda is total control. But just before we do, I want to remind you guys that I am under heavy attack this year, and it's been having an effect. After being assaulted by Antifa and BLM thugs, then arrested by the Vancouver Police Department, I had my GoFundMe campaigns terminated and my YouTube channel permanently deleted. This has affected my financial situation considerably, and they're trying to systematically take me out. But with your help, they won't be able to do so. So if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this information, please visit pressfortruth.ca slash donate where you can contribute a one-time donation with PayPal, you can contribute Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, you can join as a PFT member or a PFT patron by clicking on this banner here, or you can use the Patreon alternative and sign up for a monthly reoccurring contribution. Thank you so much to anyone who does contribute. PFT is nothing without you. All right, so let me start off by saying I've been warning about this for two decades now, and the infrastructure for Big Brother is starting to reveal itself in plain sight. Apple and Google announced on Tuesday that future versions of the iOS and Android operating systems will include the company's COVID-19 notification system that previously required users to seek out and install an app made by a public health authority. The exposure notification system uses Bluetooth signals from smartphones that have opted in to determine how closely and for how long two phones were nearby without collecting the location or identity of the users. If one of the phone's users were to test positive for COVID-19, then the system could send a push notification to other participating phones that they may have been exposed to the virus. Previously, this system required a user to seek out and install an app made by a public health authority. But the new system, Exposure Notifications Express, will enable the same public health groups to send notifications to people at risk for exposure without the need to develop and maintain the apps. The ability to opt into the system without users specifically seeking an app is intended to improve adoption of the system, which would improve its effectiveness because it requires a large number of people sharing Bluetooth signals to work. As the next step in our work with public health authorities on exposure notifications, we are making it easier and faster for them to use the exposure notification system without the need for them to build and maintain an app Apple and Google representatives said in a statement. Are we really supposed to believe that it's not going to someday become mandatory for all phones? I mean, just three months ago, they were discussing this. Opt in or opt out. Officials face difficult ethical decision over COVID-19 contact tracing apps. If an opt in system means you're not going to be able to achieve your objective, are there ways that we can protect privacy while moving to an opt out system? And what about this? India orders mandatory use of COVID-19 contact tracing apps for all workers. The heads of organizations will be responsible for ensuring that employees install the app. Or this, fearing coronavirus, a Michigan college is tracking its students with a flawed app and students have no way to opt out. And we're already seeing major privacy violations when it comes to contact tracing, as I proved in this video expose. Hidden camera undercover investigation reveals contact tracing privacy violations, where I visited a number of bars and restaurants in Vancouver and documented on film all the privacy violations that are currently taking place. 
If you haven't seen this video yet, please give it a watch. A link will be located in the description below. They have an agenda to track and trace every single person, no matter of your age or color or race or gender or wealth status. Remember this? BC government gives away 3,500 phones to contact trace the homeless. Another incremental move towards the big brother COVID-1984 nightmare. Guys, representatives from Apple and Google said that the new software update for iPhones is gonna be in the iPhone 13.7 version, which is being released today. When Pandemic 2, as Bill Gates calls it, also known as the second wave eventually hits, don't think for a second that governments aren't going to hesitate to make it mandatory and leave no opt-out option, all for your safety, of course. Now, I can't predict the future, but I can see where this is going after decades of research. And the good news today is, my friends, there will be an option to opt out. And the best way you can do that, folks, is by doing this. Just get rid of the damn thing and you'll be much better off. But for those of you who, like myself, use it for work, that's not necessarily an option. And that's why over the last couple of months, we have been developing this. This is the PFT Privacy Protector, which is a Faraday cage for your phone. It blocks out all incoming and outgoing EMF signals, including RFID, NFC, cellular, GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Airplane mode will not prevent your smartphone's GPS from tracking your every move, but the PFT Privacy Protector will. When you use a PFT Privacy Protector, you can't be pinged by contact tracing apps. Your conversations won't be secretly recorded via the device's microphone and camera for data collection purposes, and you won't be subjecting your skin and organs to being microwaved. Get Big Brother out of your life and take the power to protect your privacy back into your own hands. Don't take a chance with Big Brother and with your health. Protect your privacy moving forward in this post-COVID-1984 nightmare with the PFT Privacy Protector. Guys, if you want to get your hands on one of these PFT Privacy Protectors, or more than one, please click the link in the description below to find out how you can get yours. That's all for today, my friends. If you appreciate the info I presented in this video, please click the thumbs up button and share this one with your friends and family. And stay tuned, we've got more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. The truth will set you free.